It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ulch Brewing Company in the Netherlands and it's a bottle of the Sergeant Night Vision uh, Imperial Double Stout at 10.5% ABV. Check out the label. Have a little read of this cartoon. It's mighty funny. Sergeant Night Vision. Can't fault it. Uh, there's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. 10.5% ABV. Fantastic percent for an Imperial Stout. Not called an Imperial Stout, what have they called it? And in, yeah, they have Imperial slash Double Stout. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. Some people call them Double Stouts. Most people call them Imperial Stouts. Why not call them both? You're not rocking the apple cart too much then, are you? One finger, slightly tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. Good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this smells absolutely fantastic. It's slightly vinous. There's some berry in there, some plum, some fig. Then you've got your chocolate, your coffee, and your caramel from the aroma of the roasted malt coming through on the beer. Slight bit of tobacco smoke in there as well. Pipe tobacco smoke. Bitter dark chocolate. Maybe a touch of vanilla, oak. Smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow. Fantastic, Stone the Crows, what a beer. Cool this one down slightly, it's the middle of the summer, it's quite sticky and warm out there. But boy, I've managed to get it perfect. I've got it down to about six, seven degrees, so chilled quite nicely. You're still getting all of the flavors from the roasted malt and all of the flavors from the hops in the beer. So what am I getting? First of all, as always, with an Imperial Stout, I want to talk to you about the mouthfeel. That creamy, rich, dense mouthfeel that you just come to love with a very, very well-made Imperial Russian Stout. Or an Imperial Stout, should I say. Or a double Stout. The beer is thick and dense enough just to move around the inside of the palate. It sticks to your palate a little bit longer, sticks to your tongue a little bit longer, with all of them taste buds are, and it just releases onto your palate. It stays in a bit longer, so you get lots more of that roasted malt, that chocolate, that bitter chocolate, a little bit of sweet caramel, and some bitter coffee as well on there. It's also very vinous. There's a touch of vanilla in there, and I get a little bit of vanilla pod there. But the vinous quality on the beer is, is lovely. There's some red wine quality there. Red bread grape, should I say. You know, most red wine, red grape. Fig, plum and raisin. Just a touch of kind of berry fruit there. Lovely, lovely beer. But with that denseness, you get good carbonation. That thickness, that, that creaminess gets lifted a little bit by the carbonation. And it just helps to, of course, nobody wants to drink a flat beer. We want a bit of carbonation in there. And it just helps with the carbonation. It just helps with that little bit of carbonation there. Pushes the beer on the in inside of the mouth a little bit more. It just gives the beer a little bit of life. And for me, it's a very well-constructed Imperial Stout. 
Is there anything else I can take from the bottle for you? Just the ingredients, which is your, your, your regular hops, malt, yeast and water. Um, yeah, and it's 10.5% ABV. Fueled by mischief, and there's a lot to read there, so I'll let you read that if you want to. There you go. Pause the video if you like. I'm going to rate it. Okay, let's rate this wonderful Imperial Double Stout. To be honest with you, if I cannot fault, find a fault in any in, in a beer, then why take a mark away? You know, I do give occasionally a few 10 out of 10s, and that's because if there's nothing to take away from the beer, if you think this beer is top, top, high-end stout, or whatever style that is, then just go and give it a 10. 10 out of 10. Thanks very much. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Stone the crows. And cheers.